Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thanks for joining us on today's video. I have to tell you that these cars, the C3 Corvettes, uh, have become the most popular vehicles here, request-wise, sales-wise, and things like that. And I think this is the reason why. Because you're talking about cars, whether they're the, uh, the C2s, let's say the 63 to 67 cars, um, you know, they're pretty expensive. These cars here typically, for a really nicely done car like this car here itself, that is matching numbers and what have you, is still under 20,000. They sell in between the, you know, depends on the restoration level and things like that, the 10 to $20,000 range. And uh, they're still just a great, great car. I mean, keep in mind we're talking about cars with four wheel disc brakes, right? We're talking about positive traction as standard. They still go, regardless of whether it's a 74, 5, 6, 78, they still go. They still go well. And uh, some of them had some mild upgrades along the way to pick up some extra power. So, uh, and on top of it, they still have a great look. And the best thing about all of it is they're still selling for the same price they were a few years ago and they're going up in value. So there's a good chance that you can find this to be the next car that swings up where you can own a car for a little while and it costs you very little to own it. If it costs you anything, sometimes people even make money on these things. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, let's talk about this car for a second. Uh, I know the person that restored it. All right, let's check out the paint because that's uh, one of the big deals we need to talk about. And this is nicely done too. Check this out. See how that window sticker can be read nice and perfect in the paint. You can read everything. Even if you didn't have to look at this right here, you can see the whole thing. That's the kind of paint you need to be looking for. Just looks great. It's the original factory color. Uh, it's an exotic color called burgundy <laughs> metallic. I don't know why it's not uh, a Tuscan wine, uh, Bordeaux, uh, metallic, uh, spumante, but uh, nonetheless, it looks great, especially with the tan leather. It kind of makes the whole car uh, really, really pop. So I like uh, this too, if you could. Uh, rally wheels, polished trim rings, wide white radials, and all the trim and everything's been done inside too. And all the uh, chromes polished out, bezels, handles are new, uh, this rack, uh, this. Now the cool thing about the rack too is the racks come off and they now sell a cool kit uh, that plugs the holes there if you don't want the rack all the time. And if you want to, we can also uh, do a repair so that you wouldn't know that the rack was over there. All right, so back here, we'll keep walking around. Still got a great sounding dual exhaust. Don't forget, we talked about this car having positive traction. Got an independent rear suspension, man. This is expensive uh, items, even today's modern cars. And check out that exhaust. It's all polished, and it really sounds good. It definitely doesn't sound stock. All right, let's take a peek under the hood and see what we have here. All right, now this is nicely done too. So for me, this says that this is a really, really uh, nice restoration and the reason why is this. Take a look, all the wiring around here is brand new. Look at this, all this stuff here, clips, things like that. That's just all the expensive stuff. All the vacuum hoses are new, the decals. It's detailed in here. Now, you have a couple things that are not correct. Super easy to fix if you didn't want to, uh, if you wanted it to be bone, bone stock, but it is matching numbers car to start with and that also helps the resale value of it later on or if you're going to a car show or whatever, you want a nice little poster that would lay next to it, uh, you could say that. Or if you just want a cool car that you can drive, at least you know you got some matching number of stuff in here. All right, so we talked about the four-wheel disc brakes here. The car also has power steering, and it also has air conditioning. And the air conditioning is cold and it works well. It's detailed also. Okay, it's got the right fan shroud on it because you want to get some air in there. Keep in mind the radiators lay down in a Corvette because of the styling, and you got to get some air in there. Uh, and that has the fan shroud and the real big heavy duty fan to kind of keep it cool. And the last thing I want to talk about was, if you don't love the valve covers here, I think they look nice, quite honestly. It's just enough when you open the hood that it pops a little bit. We can put the stock valve covers on there. Even yeah, this is nice too. Hood insulation, just nicely detailed. Okay. Uh, one of the other nice things too is I love about these is you get this kind of coupe uh, look and then once you pop this off, it changes the whole look of the car. Now look at this thing. So you get the safety of having the protection around here, right? With all of this open air motoring that you can have. Okay, let's take a peek at the inside for a minute. Okay, so some of the restoration details, things like, uh, this is a little over restored because they polished this right here. It looks really nice, although not factory correct. I'm not sure that that's super paramount. This is a really easy piece to, to purchase if you want. 
but it looks great. This right here is leather. This is not vinyl, and the tan leather looks really, really good in here. You dash, it's all painted. You got tilt wheel, which is optional. You got telescopic steering wheel, which is optional, okay? Um, the footwell lighting is working, and you're saying, well, why are you talking about footwell lighting? Well, I'm talking about footwell lighting because when all of these things, a piece of dust, uh, when all of these things are working, it gives you an idea of some sort of the restoration that's going on in a car like this, okay? You got your bins back here, which is nice. That's all been detailed. And all the storage that's there. Seat backs are new. And then back in the Corvette cockpit, you know, they kind of built the car. I think that they, quite honestly, they bought a seat and a steering wheel. And they set some guy in there, and uh, this is what they did. They put him in it, and then they built the entire car around that guy, because your arm fits perfectly, right like this. And this is such a cruising profile as you roll on down the road. Great gauges, like everything, oil pressure, battery, water temperature, 7,000 RPM tech, 160 mile an hour speedometer. And these cars still go, man. You know, people said, well, in the 70s, the, the cars weren't really that fast. You'd be very surprised at how, uh, how sprightly these things are. And with the positive traction rear and the independent rear suspension, they hook up awesome and they just gone. Anyway, enough of my babbling. How about I start it for you so you can hear what it sounds like, okay? Think about how much more strikingly handsome you'll be than this mug here, cruising down the road. I know I'm ruining your new Corvette, but I had to show it to you before you got it. But anyway, you're cruising down the road, the car fits just right. Maybe uh, you want to put the windows up and turn the AC on. Maybe you want to set the tilt wheel just right, the telescopic to where you want it, uh, the upgraded sound system that's in the car too, and the exhaust that sounds great. It's got an upgraded Flowmaster exhaust on it. It sounds awesome. So anyway, I don't know. Just a cool, cool car, especially a car that doesn't cost a gazillion, gadrillion dollars as some of the other high-end exotics cost. And I think that uh, if you can get something like this, especially with the matching numbers and, uh, and some of those details, uh, I think you'd be very, very happy with it. All right? Anyway, if we can tell you a little more about it, call us 301-816-1000 and uh, find a way to get this 74 Corvette in your garage.